Okay, thank you again. Um, this is module four in our DRANview advanced training, and this is going to be on data importing and exporting. So DRANview Pro and Enterprise, um, this is this has the uh, this is compatible with both versions of them. Um, have the ability to import various data formats and export into a couple data formats. So uh, we're going to cover them individually. Let's briefly talk about the. Uh, the import capability, and that's really a file open. So if I go file and I go open, you can see I'm path to the SAG directivity uh, um, subfolder that I have. But if you look here, just like any Windows program, I have the ability to pull down the file type here. So you can see a heck of a lot of information here. So you can see all of our various instruments listed here from current instruments to um, a lot of our legacy products as well. Uh, but you can also see a PQ diff format. You can see a com trade format. So really those are the, um, there's kind of three different things that you're going to be importing in general. The first one is just open up a file from an instrument. Likely today that's coming from our HDPQ family, possibly from our PX5 family, um, which is here in the list somewhere, I'm missing it. Um, but also, you know, those come directly from instruments, but also you can open up a PQ diff file so if you have uh, some product that recorded or software that recorded in a PQ diff file, as well as ComTrade files. So ComTrade is gonna have some sort of oscillography, maybe from a DFR or some other information. So PQ diff is an industry format, IEEE 1159.3, and ComTrade is um, C37.1 or something like that. Don't, don't, don't hold me to that, but it is also a, uh, an industry standard. So to open up a file, you would just simply do file and open and you would select it in that format. That's exactly what I did before when I opened up our SAG directivity example in our last section. I just opened the PQ diff format for here. You can see it's recorded, SAG directivity, PQ diff, open. Now I've added another tab or it's adding another tab right now with that file format. So it's that simple. So um, when you import data, it's more like opening files. Now, exporting data, that's extremely powerful. Maybe you want to export it to go do your own work in, um, in Excel or something more advanced in MathCAD or other uh, math packages. So DranView has the ability to export most of the time. It's in a comma delimited, delimited, <laughs> delineated format, if I can speak, or tab delineated or other type of format. So it's the process of either doing one of two things. You can take the data from DranView, and what I mean by data, you can take a timeline, everything that's in a timeline or at a particular zoom level, or you can take the wave shapes here. It depends upon which pane is the active pane. So you have the ability to export that, simply sometimes copy it from the clipboard and paste it into Excel or another application, or save it off as a text file. That file can then be imported into Excel or any other package. That's extremely uh, standard way. It's it's a very old way, but it's an extremely standard way of taking sample data. And again, whether it be sampled on the journal level from the instruments in the timeline or digitized on 512 samples per cycle in the instrument. So how do we do that? So you can easily, you could select any of the active pane. Then I go to the uh, view tab. And in fact, let me select this and you can see the data table. That's what we're talking about. So anything that you see plotted or graphed in DranView is just simply DranView's um, plotting what came from the instrument or it's been recomputed on an XY plot. So if I just click data table and you'll see it's processing it there. This is a pretty large file. All right, now you can see it's, re, it's, it's not recomputed. It's displayed all the things that we have plotted here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I actually simplify this. I'm gonna close this out and just make it a little easier on us as we import and export in our examples. So I'm gonna right click properties and I am going to only turn on the value recorded by the instruments. I shut off max, I shut off min, and this, this is the just a journal value that's been recorded by the instrument. And these are just the high low limits. So I'm gonna turn those off as well. Now, when I go data table, you will very simply just see the time and you will see the value at that time. So here's the X axis, the time, and you can see here's the Y axis, the actual value that you see. Again, what I'm doing, I have the data points for this graph over here. 
And this is the, uh, the voltage response to the step load changes that we have in this particular example file. So now what can I do with this? You just simply right click. If you wanna copy this information to the clipboard and then go paste it into another application. So I right click, I can say copy. Now it's gonna ask you, well, what format do you wanna copy? Well, for this, this example, I'm going to copy and paste it um, to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm gonna make this a tab delineated file just because it's easier to copy and paste. So this is gonna ask me what I wanna do as far as, far as the time the timestamps. So I wanna show the true, the full timestamp, which you see here, or do I want just time difference relative to the timestamp of the first row, so offset, or do I want the time difference from row to row. This is the, the difference in the journal intervals. So you can do different formats and, and uh, how do I treat decimals and different things. So I'm gonna just click okay, or click okay and we'll just let it work. Now I'm gonna switch over to Excel. I'm gonna open a blank spreadsheet. I'm gonna simply go right click. I'm gonna say paste. And you can see the values recorded here. This is exactly if I just alt tab back over to Dranview, you look at that first value, 480.3. Look, I got 480.3. And just to show you, let's just do a very quick plot where I go uh, insert. I'm gonna just create a graph here, a line chart in Excel. Doesn't that look familiar? So if I just expand upon this, you can see this is the, the trend of the voltage that I have in Drandview. So get a visual image of that. I go switch back to Drandview. And you can see they are the same. I'll make, I'll maximize this. Okay. So now I put this in Excel. I can do anything that Excel can do with this information. And, and this is just what you see here for the time. This is just the number format here. So you would have to um, change the number format right over here in Excel to make this the time date down to the millisecond. So um, don't be worried about what you see over here. All right. So hopefully, hopefully that's clear. Now, how do I save and export the data? So I go to my data table again. So uh, you saw before how I did it and it's very similar to before, except I do file, save as. And I create a file name. So I'm gonna just add ROS to this because I already have a file of that, that format. Click save and it's gonna bring me that same selection um, option that I had before. So again, I can I can do how it's going to save the time the timelines, what it's going to do with the decimal points, and more importantly, what is the delineation of this. So I'm going to make this a comma delineated file, much more uh, common way of doing things. So I'm going to click OK. See, Drandy just did its thing. Now I'm going to switch back to Excel. I'm going to open up a new tab in Excel. I'm going to go to, I think it's data from text that allows me to do this within an individual tab. And let me just path over. And if I change this to all files, oops. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong folder. I apologize for that. This is in the uh, generator test. So this is the file that I just created right here. I'm going to import that file. Now I'm gonna go through the standard Excel prompts when you import a CSV or, or a tab delineated file. So this is gonna be delineated. It has headers and I'm gonna click next. This is just a wizard in Excel and this is comma delineated. Now you can see over here, Excel has detected the file. So I could have done a tab delineated if I wanted to, but I said comma and you can see here's the, uh, the X axis, here's the Y axis. I click next. It's gonna ask me some other things as far as the type, but we can just use the Excel defaults. I'm gonna just say finish. And it's gonna ask me where I wanna put this. So I'm gonna just click okay. Now you can see it's the exact same data that we have before. So if I go to our first tab, this is what we exported. I just widen this a little bit, get them the same width versus similar. This is what we copied and pasted from the first time. And this is what I exported and imported. And just to show you, we're gonna regenerate the plot. I go to insert, I go to a LARN chart, select the chart, and you can see this is the exact same thing if I had that I have in tab one here, which is also the exact same plot that we have within Dranview. So very, very simple. Uh, again, exporting, 
you, then you can go import to any other package. And when you want to import data into DranView, it's a file and open that accomplishes that. 